Good morning sports fans and welcome to the channel. My name's Tommy and I'm still fairly new to posting this stuff to YouTubes but uh, it's a range of content we have on this channel from family trips and travel to DIY projects in the garden and then what I'm doing now cycling. So I'm out again today on the road bike this time I've bought the uh, the canyon out. Now the roads are fairly dry fairly dry and uh, not too damp so yeah I thought I'd bring this one out rather than the old winter bike this one breaks a little bit better but um, yeah I'm out solo at the moment I've just left the house but I'm gonna do something a little bit different today I'm meeting up with a group of cyclists that I've never met before and one of the guys I used to cycle with many years ago invited me on a nice gentle ride and uh, I'm hoping it's gonna be that because although I might look the part and be fancy Rafa and fancy summer bike in the winter months my legs aren't definitely not they're not good yet so we're gonna get out get some miles in hopefully these guys don't mind the uh me talking to a camera every so often and being filmed here and there but um yeah let's see what today see what today brings and uh where we end up going well that in sports fans the guys have welcomed me pretty well we are 11 miles in. I've understood there's a cafe stop coming up, which is something I've not done mid-ride for a long time. As you can see straight out in front, got a range of guys, all ages and backgrounds. And uh, I might be the youngest one here, but we'll keep that between me and you. But they're welcoming. And uh, I know a few of the guys from years ago when I was cycling anyway, so it's quite nice to catch up with them. Um, but we're gonna head into Aundel now, which you did see in my previous video, but yeah, we're 11 miles in and uh, I think somewhere along the way we're gonna have some coffee and cake. So this fat boy's gonna top up. Anyway, back to the miles on the group. This is a hill we rode up last week um, on the ride, but going down here today with the views out in front of us, it's bloody nice out here today. They're not coming. What am I doing, Tommy? One of these chaps, he's here somewhere. He's egging me on to sprint for hills and climbs. I've come on a Sunday, a Saturday social for coffee and a cake because I'm not fit anymore. And this chap's egging me on. <laughs> What's your name, sorry? John. There's John. John's been egging me on at the climbs today. So uh, yeah, we'll behave now, get to the back of the group and shut up. We are 20 miles in, turning back now towards Andalusso come up and climb come down that way the group is a little scattered and it's not my fault i'm not the one driving the pace not at the moment anyway some of the group have turned off and uh yeah we're gonna go find a cafe stop now i think and get a nice coffee just pulled into a place called Thrapston which I've driven past a hundred times but I've never cycled through. These guys are taking me on some uh, cool new roads that I've been on. Uh, haven't been on before sorry. We have done 29 miles and I have to say I can't remember the last time I rode over 30 miles. I think we've got a coffee stop coming up and I will have to eat and have something to uh, keep me going because I haven't got anything but I certainly haven't ridden this far so it's been quite steady in a group. You forget that when you're not riding just on your own or in a group of two and you're always on the front that actually you get a bit of shelter which has been nice so yeah it's throwing me back to the old days of uh, cycling in groups but it's been good fun we've got probably another five six miles before a coffee stop i think and then from Aound to where we'll be it's probably about 15 miles home so um yeah it's going to be a good ride today but yeah heading into uh traps and town center now So the boys have got us lost apparently. We've gone <laughs> five or six miles over the uh, planned route to the cafe. So we're currently on 31 miles. We've turned, we've got a tailwind now to uh, find a coffee stop. So um, yeah, this is the furthest I've ridden in a single ride in a long time. So we'll have to see how the legs hold up here. Woo-hoo! 
into Aundel, I think, a way I've never been into Aundel before. What's it say? Aundel, five miles. Okay, we're quite a way to go yet. I know where we are now. We've come into Aundel via Waddenhoe and Stoke Doyle. So we've got a bridge up here we go over straight into Aundel village. And then um, I'm just tagging along with these guys, to be honest. So hopefully they know where the good coffee is and where the, uh, where the good flapjack is. Because all the uh, coffee shops that I know of in Aundel, these guys seem to want to go to another one that I've never heard of. So we'll see what it tastes like, but it's nice coming in this way. The sun out today. The roads are a little bit damp, but um, yeah, the old Canyon summer bike, which has come out today, is gonna need a serious, uh, serious clean because she's a dirty girl now. Andal Church, the sun shining across the way. And here we are into Aundel, over this little bridge that I spoke about a second ago. Up the hill, it's Aundel Church. And I might have to wait because I don't know where the coffee shop is that these boys go to. And this looks like where we ended up. Dexter's, Barman Kitchen, for coffee. We have done 38 miles, which is the most I've done in a long time. So looks like we can bring our bikes for here and uh, have a coffee out here. That was somewhere new to try. A little scone and a cup of coffee nice in a, well. in a uh, place called Dexter's. Yeah, it's nice and sunny now, nice and warm. We got probably about 10 miles, 12 miles home from where we are now. Hopefully with a tailwind, so. Let's get cracking. On our way back into Elton now, there's only two of us now left. The rest of the group have split up for the day, turned off to go all their different directions home. But heading into Elton now, a couple of climbs to go up, and then it's the home stretch along Andal Road. So it's been good, it's been good to get out. We've done 45 miles, or I've done 45 miles, which is 15, 16 miles more than I've done in a very, very long time. So I'm sure the legs are going to be filling it a bit later today, but with a bit of luck, I've got an afternoon on the sofa, maybe watching a movie or some football, but yeah, we'll see how that ends up. now driving into oh, driving riding into Chesterton we've done 47.7 miles chilling at 23 mile an hour with a lovely tailwind all the guys have uh, spun off and gone their own ways but it's been a good day it's been nice to meet some uh, new people and uh, if any of them end up watching this video when I put it live thank you very much thank you Paul for the invite and uh, nice to meet all the other guys as well I can't remember everybody's name but um Somebody bought me a cake and a coffee, so I thank you very much for that as well. But yeah, we're on our way back in now, so another mile, maybe a mile and a half, and we'll be home. All right then, guys. I'm just cycling through an industrial estate not far from home, just to spin the legs out, but we've got 49 miles on the clock bound to be about 50 by the time I get home. Hard and tired today. That was um, a lot more than I've been used to for the past few years, but it was good to get out. So um, again, thank you for the guys for inviting me along. Um, I suppose I better go and clean this bike because I really shouldn't have been out on this summer bike today. It is filthy. I don't know if you can hear the chain squeaking, but it's dry as a bone. So I'm gonna love you and leave you. Hope you have a good rest of the weekend. And as always, hit that like button. And if you're watching these, and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I'm still trying to grow the channel, but hope you all have a lovely weekend and I will see you guys 
again soon. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Forgot to mention, I'll stick a uh, picture on screen now of the route we did today. See ya.